Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we're gonna do something super arty inspired by I'd say Pablo Picasso something a little bit with a cubism in it. Yeah. Cubism, abstract, colorful, lovely. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get cracking. So to start this design off, I'm gonna go in with Snow White. Um, I've already buffed the nail and the reason I'm putting Snow White under is just to give the nail some opacity. I wanna make sure that the colors that I put on top will pop and the nail will be nice and opaque. So I'm just gonna put a nice thick layer all over the nail, make sure it's applied evenly and then pop it into the lamp. Okie dokie, so I've got this layer cured over here and I've got my triple, no, double zero two um, detailing brush and some um, serious black on my palette. Now, beware guys, this is a Steffi original, okay? So, I'm going to start painting um, a combination of couple of faces that look a little bit, you know, what's the word? I'm not sure if they're a bit all over the place. All they? over the place, yeah. A little bit all I think over that's the place. How Picasso described himself. Yeah. All so over he, the place. Yeah, he was. But, but he's done some great work. I won't lie. I'm gonna, um, you know, I wish I had a bit of his money. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm One gonna day. just um, load my detailing brush and I'm gonna start painting the uh, face. So I'm going to paint firstly, probably the shape of an eye. So I'm gonna start doing probably the nose now. And then I'm gonna go down. So I'm going to just map out the head on top in a very weird wonky way, but it really adds to the effect, guys, trust me. And now I'm gonna paint the lips in the center. And this guy over here has got a big mouth, a little bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna start doing the chin. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna probably start mapping out the hair a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a few strokes on the side. I'm gonna do another face, kind of here maybe. So I'm gonna start painting another eye, slightly above, you know. It doesn't really look symmetrical, his work, does it? So I'm gonna go down and create another, maybe one of those wonky noses that look like a fork that's upside down. Maybe another line here. And then I'm gonna do the neck over here. And I reckon something is just missing over here. I might just do like a semicircle. That's it guys, we're gonna definitely add some more detail, but I'm just kind of mapping out what I want to color in. So we've got this section over here ready. I'm gonna cure it for the full length of time and then we'll start filling in. While this is curing, I'm gonna just prep my palette and use these gorgeous colors over here, which I think will be perfect for our design. I'm gonna be using Royal Blood, which is a stunning blue. I love that color, love, 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 love Royal Blue. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that on my palette, maybe a little bit more. It's been... I don't know why I'm putting so little. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna use Warm Fire, which is a like one of the most insane yellows that we have. It's a gorgeous mustardy yellow. Yeah, I love that color. I love that color. Such a beautiful color. I'm gonna be using Teal Appeal. I believe that's one of our new colors, really. So I'm gonna just be dabbing that on my palette. And then I'm gonna be using Devil's Shadow which is a stunning deep red, which I'll probably be using a lot over Halloween. <laughs> mm. And we've got a stunning pink, which is called First Night, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous 
pink. I think it's got like a bit of a, looks a bit antique as well. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's quite lovely. Anyway, I've got my um, face. face ready. <laughs> And I'm going to just start filling in the um, the different sections in different colors. Now, uh, don't worry too much about, you know, um, where the colors are placed, I suppose. But you do want to have, um, like, gap in between the colors. So you don't put the same color, you know, on the section above or anything like that. Otherwise, it will take away from the all from all the art, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just go in and just fill in the face with warm fire. I really, really like this shade. So I'm just painting around. Don't worry if you go on top of the black lines that we've painted earlier because we're going to go on top of them again. We really want the black to pop out at the end. So I've got the yellow here. What color do you reckon I should go for the other face? Oh, you want a good contrast to the yellow, don't you? I think pink would be good. Yeah, yeah, pink. I really like this pink. Such a stunning color. I know it looks a bit weird right now, but trust me guys, at the end, it's going to look so stunning. And it's made out of quite basic shapes. So it's easier to replicate this design what do you think drew oh yeah i think once it's finished it's probably going to look like you've put a lot more effort into it mm -hmm. than you actually have yeah that's right people are going to think you're a real artiste <laughs> So we've got these two colors. I'm gonna go in with, I think, teal appeal, and I'm gonna go and paint a nice, I'm gonna just put a nice dollop, sorry, on this top bit and move the product around. So I'm trying not to touch the colors because I don't want them to mix. So I'm painting really carefully around the edges. So I've got that. I'm now gonna go in with probably blue so it's royal blood this is called wow i'm loving this already i'm gonna go in with this color for the lips probably we'll use two shades for the lips rather than just one. So I've got this over here. I'm gonna go in with, I've um, forgot to put on my palette, oops. Well, <laughs> oops, I did it it's again. actually called oops, so my bad. But I'm gonna just put that on the palette as well because I was planning on using that. So I'm going to just dab into it, then do the top half of the lips, oh yes, such a gorgeous colour. Got that, I'm going to go in with the red again maybe on the top here. Wow, this colour is really gorgeous. And I'm going to go in with, help me Drew. More mustard, yeah. More mustard. Oh no, I've mixed it a little bit with the red, but it's okay. 
I'm gonna go in. I reckon that red needs to make an appearance again. It's really nice. Do you fill in the eyes as well? Or? I will be. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> the, 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 the eye, most of it will be like white, but there'll be a section in it where actually, I think I'm gonna do the blue here and then teal at the bottom. Yeah, that's the one. So I'm gonna just paint that. It does take a while though, guys, that's the thing. And then the last bit here. Oh no, I've got the eyes. And let's do blue again here, just for the midsection of the eye. And then I'm gonna do teal on the other one. I thought I touched it. So, now that it's all colored in, I'm gonna pop this back into the lamp for the full length of time. So we've got this layer cured. Now I want to bring this all together. So I'm gonna go in with our Urban Graffiti Top Coat, apply a thin layer all over, and then go and um, outline it again with black. Uh, because I want the black to really stand out once I put the final top coat, and this helps it a lot. Okay, so I've got this layer cured. And I've put some series black on my palette, but of course this series black has been in the fridge because I need it to be slightly thicker for this section. So I'm going to go in, just load my brush and again start basically outlining the whole thing we've done. Uh, but just don't be afraid to actually press the brush down to get that thickness because we want it to be really, you know, yeah, you want some defined lines. Yes, so, yeah. really defined lines. So I'm just really going above all the lines that we did earlier. And look, look at that, Drew. Doesn't yeah, it look so much better? Standing it all out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so good. We'll do that. I'm now going to go in and just continue with the. abstract face oh I'm loving this isn't it nice to watch the whole process and then like see how everything comes together it's just so satisfying I'm gonna go in and apply probably not apply but paint a few eyelashes Should we add eyelashes to the other one? Maybe at the bottom though? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think at the top would be a bit too much. And then I'll do the chin, the neck, and that little circle on his um, cheek. cheek, that's right. I'm just going to add another line here because I know I need it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. You need it to sleep at night. That's right. See, you know what I'm saying? You need Finished to have that off. line. It finishes off nicely. Right, okay, so I've done all the outline. I'm going to pop this into the lamp and make sure it cures fully. Okay? Fully. Right, so I've got this black here cured. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to my lint free wipe and some alcohol and just wipe off any um, gel residue that's left of the black just in case because I want to apply a matte top coat and sometimes matte top coats can, can pull the pigment out of the color that you've 
just laid on the nails so i've removed all the gel residue and i'm gonna go in to our urban graffiti ultra matte top coat and apply a nice thin layer all over this to seal in the design and then i'll get to show off my masterpiece guys oh wow look at that come on guys who is bidding mm -hmm. <laughs> i love this i absolutely love this i enjoyed creating this look because it's so abstract fun and it's actually quite simple to create you make like basic shapes fill it in and you can't really go wrong with this design that's so amazing i love it i love it love it love it i really enjoyed creating this one for you guys i hope you enjoyed watching as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all on the next one take care guys